This is Sheila's Take, a podcast where you can hear my take on everything. Love, hate, relationships, family, and today's issues. I'm your host, Sheila Dunbar. Thank you for joining me. Hi, this is Sheila Dunbar uh, from Sheila's Take. And I'm so excited because this week I have my very first guest, Ms. Shalina Molden. And we are going to talk about some stuff that, a uh, topic that she picked herself. And, uh, but I just want to give you a little introduction to Miss uh, Shalina Molden, or as I like to call her, Miss Shamber. She is the founder of Prayer Tea Time, which is a live uh, podcast, live Bible study podcast that she does every Tuesday and every Thursday at 8 p.m. So please check her out on Instagram because it is amazing, you know, and she's, she's just so enlightening. And the one thing I know about Shamber or Miss Shalina is that she has the most bubbly personality and she is such a child of, of God. And, and I, I, I met this woman through uh, one of the classes that we do with Miss Dan- Danella Lane called Classes in Session. And, you know, she is just so full of life. So, um, welcome, Miss Shamba. How are you? I am doing great, great. Hi, everyone. As she stated earlier, I am She Amber. Um, we did meet um, in class and session a couple months back, I believe. And mm-hmm. yes, we're getting closer and closer about the day. So, I'm really excited. <laughs> so, when we we talked. I know I asked you like what kind of topic you wanted to talk about and you came back with finding yourself. And Mm -hmm. I just want to know like what made you come up with that topic? What I came up with that topic because I recently just found myself. Um, Some people really talk about how they lost themselves, you know, in a relationship or just going through life. But For me, I really never found myself until now. So I kind of wanted to discuss this to help someone see how they can grow and find themselves, basically. Okay, because, you know, uh, we we talked about this. I'm a a little ways older than you. I'm not going (laughs) to say how old, but I'm a little ways older than you. And I'm still, I'm still finding myself every day. I'm, I'm growing and I'm learning. And I, I, uh, do you think that that's something that, um, that ever stops or cause you can always learn something no matter how old you are, you know, the world is constantly changing. Um, so you're always, you're always finding yourself, but you know, do you think that that's something that's that once you say I found myself, that's it. No, 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 that's not it. Um, <laughs> definitely far from that. Um, I would say it's a daily thing because the world changes every day. So do people. Um, right. I Yeah. So this is a, uh, when you find yourself, it's more like you find out your flaws, more, your personality, your characteristics, all mm-hmm. of that. You found out, you find out how to make it better. So that's why I say it's a daily task. And it's forever going, no matter how old you are, you can find yourself at 20, 28, 40, 50, yes. 80. Mm-hmm. Um, it's any age. So I would just say, once you find yourself, you can just grow from that daily. So, so how did you, how did you get on the path of finding yourself? Ooh, what, okay. what, what made you realize, what made you realize you needed to find yourself or you were lost as, as some people say? Um, I, so recently I just found myself, like I said, about a couple months ago, <laughs> I realized that, um, through my high school, you know, teenage life that I was looking for validation from other people. And once I stopped getting that, I was kind of like, not depressed. That's a huge word. I would say I just started not feeling like myself because I wasn't getting validation or affirmation from other people. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so I realized, okay, something's not right. <laughs> I need to talk to God and see. Right. Right. How can I move on from this. Cause this is not making me happy. 
Okay. I mean, I can understand that because, uh, when you get to, there are certain parts in your life. And I think I'm at that, that point right now where I don't really care what people think anymore, yeah. but, but in my younger years, it was so important to me, uh, about what other people thought, you know, mm-hmm. what I wore. Yeah. What I wore, what I look like. And I think also that has a lot to do with self-esteem. And I was always someone that I felt, I always thought I had good self, great self-esteem, but you're right. I always look for validation in other people to tell me, okay, well, you look, you look this way. You look good. This is great. This is, but now it's like, I don't care. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, Once you you don't care, I think that's like where you're officially like growing. Um, that's where it, that's a good thing <laughs> because when I was looking for validation for other people. I would realize that, oh my gosh, they said I look good. Oh, I look so good now. Cause they told me that now I'm like, no, exactly. If they don't tell you, what are you going to do? If someone doesn't tell you, you look good, are you going to be happy? Exactly. Like, exactly. Like, you going to react. <laughs> I mean, you have to, you have to be, uh, you have to be happy with yourself. Mm-hmm. You know, and okay, you know, it's okay to, to get a compliment and it's nice to, you know, to give and it's nice to receive a compliment, mm-hmm. but it just should not validate you. Growing up, I was, I, I did go to church. I did, you know, but I kind of, during my earlier years, I kind of fell out mm-hmm. as, you know, and something happened and what, when I, when I, when I was a teenager in church and it kind of soured me. And I re- kind of recommitted myself when I was around 35. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, but I, uh, again, things happen, life happens, life you know, life, 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 life be life in, <laughs> you know that, right? Yes. Life be life in. And then things change. And, and I realized, I think you even recommended that book to me. Um, we had read it in my church years ago and I never really studied it. But the purpose driven life by Rick Warren. That book. When I tell you, if you if it's, y'all read this book, this book will literally change your like perspective on like life altogether. Exactly, it it will, right? And I've been, you know, I'm I'm reading that and 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 I'm and finding my, you know, I'm finding my purpose. I'm finding myself. What is my purpose? My purpose is, you know, to to be to be live Christ-like and to show Christ in my life, to show people, you know, where uh, I read something this morning where it's like, you should not, you should, pe- people should be able to see Christ in you without you telling them you're a Christian. Yeah, you don't have to post about, oh, look at me. I believe in God. And I'm like, mm-hmm. this. it should speak for itself, basically. Right. And I, and I noticed like, uh, for years, uh, years past, people would say that, oh, I, I have this connection. I know you. there's something about you, mm-hmm. but then it kind of, it kind of stopped and I'm wondering why. And it was, it was, I was doing other things and my mind wasn't where it should have been. So yeah. that was you know, that's important. <laughs> that was validation too. Like you were getting it from other people, but you weren't, you didn't believe it yourself. Exactly. So, exactly. <laughs> so, what did you say? I'm that's sorry. For a long, yeah, time. and for a long time. So, but I, I again, I just want to again hear your journey on how you literally found yourself, or still finding yourself. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> when I realized that I wasn't getting validation or I wasn't feeling happy by myself. I realized, okay, I can't be alone. I don't like being alone. I need mm-hmm. other people to be around me, to lift me up. And it was weird because I can always like lift other people up. But when it came to me, I'm like, eh. And God can do it, but eh, you know, maybe. Encourage yourself. Encourage yeah, yourself. I encourage others. But when it came to me, I'm like, mm-hmm. nah, I, it's not going to work out. But right. I realized that's not that's an issue, and I had to find the root of that issue, and that was really the enemy just telling me all these lies. 
Um, yeah. So for years, I was just listening to the enemy, I guess. That's what I was doing. <laughs> listening to the enemy telling me like, oh, you're not worth it. Oh, you're not beautiful. Oh, your skin is right. crazy. Like just mm-hmm. listening to the wrong voice. So once I picked up the right voice, which is the positive sign, which is God, the Holy Spirit, mm-hmm. I realized, oh, this is the way I should go. So I just decided to go that way. <laughs> One thing I realized is that nothing negative is going to come from God. This is this, is, <laughs> this is, <laughs> right? Yeah, I mean, I guess I when I was younger, I was just you know young, living. And just listening to everybody around me, like bullies, all of that. And I'm like, well, mm-hmm. the positive side was just, was clouded because all the negative was in my face. I didn't hear anything positive for myself anyway. And so mm-hmm. now I know when it's negative, when it's not good, when it's not noble or kind, that's not from God. That's not exactly, you know. For that. Uh, what are the, <laughs> I, I'm sorry. Noble, kind, that's a verse. I got to find it. But. Yeah, it's 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 um I think it's it's the in Philippians. Um I got to I'll find the verse, but it's in Philippians and there's certain things that we need to think on. Think on what's good, mm-hmm. what's you know, the the, the good things. And well, Philippians 4:8. And 4:8. Mm-hmm. Yes. You want can can you read that? Yeah, I can, can read, you just read that right quick. If you have it. This one's re- this is the main verse that I think really stuck with me to help me grow and find myself more. Um, So it says, finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, Mm -hmm. if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. That verse really, really sticks out. I'm like, okay, the Bible really is something you should read because it shows you how to live life and how to find exactly. It's, it's, what's the acronym? He only loves you. Mm. He, you have you ever heard that? The, he whole, the Holy you. Bible acronym? Yeah, it's, it's the whole, um, the Holy, uh, Holy Bible's the acronym. A, uh, he only loves you. Basic instructions before leaving earth. Ooh, I like The Holy that. Bible. <laughs> I like that. He only loves you. That's nice. So everyone... Who's right can say he only loves you, which is the person that's looking at it. Mm-hmm. I like right, and it's you, and and it basically is it's the basic instructions before leaving Earth, because it's it, it it's telling you how to live your life according to how God wants you to live your life, mm-hmm. <laughs> and it, you know. So I'm I'm surprised you never heard that. I, no, I think I heard I that, like that. <laughs> years ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you can have it. I didn't make it up, but you can have it. You I can, can have, have it. it. I'll take it. <laughs> you can have it. You can have it. Use it in uh, prayer tea time. I will definitely use it in prayer tea time. <laughs> okay. Nice. I like that. <clears throat> yeah. But um, I think we're coming to the end. I have one more and, thing to say. What? To leave off. Oh, go ahead. Sure. Um, go ahead. Mm-hmm. Is that people... What I'm trying to say, <laughs> gotta cut this part out. Um, <laughs> is that no? I'm gonna leave it in. I'm gonna leave it in. <laughs> I, <laughs> like people, you know what? Because you are so, and this is what I say about um, Sh- Shamber. She has such a a, a bubbly personality, <laughs> and you, you gotta love her. You know, she's so happy and joyful, and 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 that's the kind of people you need in your life. You know, you don't need yeah. you know people who who are bringing you down. You, she, you, you be around her and you know, what was it? We talked yesterday, right? Yeah. And what did I say? My, my, don't make me laugh. Cause I had a tooth pulled and she's making me laugh and, and I'm like, it's hurting, but she's so beautiful, you know, <laughs> with, with her personality. I mean, she's beautiful period, but it's her personality, mm-hmm. you know, and, 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 and God just shines all through her. So Go right ahead. Go right ahead. Why do I want to leave? Right to <laughs> I want to leave is that why would you want to listen to what's not kind or what's noble? And when I realized that, I'm like, hey, why would I choose to listen to negativity when I can listen to the positive sign and get positive outcomes? Exactly. Once you figure that out, you are on the road of you're on the road of finding yourself and growing and finding yourself. Mm-hmm. 
That's right. Finding yourself and just know that again, anything negative is not coming from God. Yeah. God's not going to put you, give you negative things. That's the enemy just um, trying to throw you off, you know, and the, and, and you have to be able to recognize that. And, and, and again, once you recognize that and you, you, then you, you are you're you're finding ball, yourself you're, and, and you're, you're, you're in the park right you're there. The park. You're in the park, right? Look, just make it in the park. All right. You have any, just make it in the park, right? <laughs> just make it in the park. Do you, do you have any final uh, thoughts or is that, Oh, that was the final thought. That was the final thought? Okay. All right. So again, I want to thank my guest, Miss Shamber. Uh, Again, she's the founder of Prayer Tea Time, which is a live uh, Instagram podcast that she does every Thursday and every, uh, excuse me, every Tuesday and every Thursday at 8 p.m. And she's actually going to be doing a video podcast of Prayer Tea Time Mm -hmm. coming when? Within the next- Next month. A uh, month or so. Okay. Now, is there any place else people can find you? I thought I saw a, a video blog you were doing. Uh, no? On a YouTube channel. Okay. Let let people know where, where they can find you on YouTube. So you can find me on YouTube. It's everything across all platforms is Shamber with the underscore. You'll find me that way. Yes. Mm-hmm. You want to spell it for oh, me? Oh, yeah. I should do <laughs> I should I'm sorry. Y'all. Yes. Um, spell it for yeah, me. Like, how do you spell that? It's S <laughs> it's S H E A M B E R. And then underscore. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Underscore. <laughs> well, thank you again, Shamber. I really appreciate you being my very first guest I feel on Sheila's Take. And hopefully. You are, uh, you, yeah, I know, right? I feel so good that you came on. <laughs> and uh, hopefully it won't be the last time. Definitely not. <laughs> in the part two of it. And uh, definitely not, right? There'll definitely be a part two. Yeah. And um, my for my listeners out there, I thank you. If you enjoy this episode, share it with your family, your friends. And as always, please be blessed. Take care. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Join me next time where I will continue to discuss more of today's issues. You can hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, or even send me an email at sheilastake at outlook.com for topics you would like discussed or if you would like to be a guest on Sheila's Take. I'm your host, Sheila Dunbar. Until next time, blessings to you.